welcome back to another SoCal Shave. So I got something pretty cool to uh, show you guys today. Um, today's shave is gonna be with um, this Nivea. Obviously you can tell by the intro there. The Nivea Man Sensitive Calming Liquid Shaving Cream. And I hope I got the right one. I don't know if there's multiple, but um, I saw this on my feed on Instagram and it actually lathers. Uh, so I, when I saw that it lathered, I went onto some of the YouTube videos to see if uh, it really truly does lather, not like the um, witch hazel one where it says it lathers, or like the cremo, like the cremo uh, squeeze uh, bottles um, that really didn't lather. So I was like, ah, I was kind of iffy uh, about it. So I decided to look up some videos, and apparently it does lather. So I don't know if there's different types of this uh, bottle, like the um, the Gillette. What is it, Gillette One or Gillette, whatever, what was it called, Gillette Zero, or whatever how, the hell it was, the, the, the one on the white bottle with the blue letters. Um, <clears throat> there's two versions of those, uh, one in the squeeze bottle and one of the, in a can, so I don't know if this is the one that's going to do it, but we're going to try this here today, and it's it infused, um, it says enriched with hemp seed oil and vitamin E, <clears throat> so I'm going to try that here today, and with that, I do have the matching aftershave balm. Um, but there you have it there um, and maybe just in case uh, you guys didn't get a close-up because I was in the way normally I like to do the close-ups with me out of the uh, frame so that way it, it focuses on it but um, if you are interested in the ingredients I will post it sideways so that way it, it all comes through um, don't know if you guys can pick that up there but that's what we have there and if you are interested in the information on the box again here's the information on the box so you can take a snapshot turn it around and check it out and uh, here's the side so that's what we have there today's shave is going to be with the Rockwell uh, 6s on the setting three plate um, there you have it there setting three with a I haven't used this blade in a long time and I thought it was fitting uh, given the shave but I'm gonna go on with the sharp uh, razor blade today and my first time ever use obviously with the cream and the the bomb but my first time use in using Florida water uh, I I have always seen it in the stores but never picked it up and I was looking for another item walking through the aisles while I had already picked this up. I don't remember what I was looking for, um, but I walked on the aisle and I saw this and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this out. The only reason why I never picked this up was A, because um, I was told it smells like uh, Aqua de Parma. Um, I didn't like Aqua de Parma when I first started uh, wet shaving. Um, I, have, I forgot the name of the Aqua de Parma that I had. And it also said, they also say it smells like the, the Club Cola. Um, Club Cola to me and the Aqua de Parma smell pretty similar to me. So uh, I just wasn't a big fan. So uh, I'm gonna try it out here today. So we'll see how we do. And obviously given the theme of the shave, right? Uh, I'm gonna go in with the 1305 for today. And this is the, the bore. And we're gonna go ahead and lather in the bowl here so I'm gonna go ahead and get my blade ready here and hopefully we have a great shave man um, you know that I like uh, all these um, hemp seed and um, uh, cannabis scents some not, not really <laughs> um, if you guys have followed me you guys know what I'm talking about but uh, yeah and there we have it there. Brand new sharp. And the setting three plate. There we have it. And something about, uh, well, something about it um, reminds me of um, having to explain something. Sharp has nothing to do with the perma sharps, but perma sharp, right? Um, so I was talking to a couple of buddies of mine. And tell them that the, the new Perma Sharps um, don't have any lettering on them anymore. 
Um, in fact, I'm gonna pause here and show you that so that way I don't forget, just in case you guys are curious about picking up some perma sharps. But uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here is a brand new pack, unopened perma sharp from the sleeve from the from the tuck. I'm gonna just. I like cutting them open with the razor blade because um, then when you open them up, sometimes they tear uh, not right and then it just runs the whole box out. And so, there you have it there. Yeah, it just reminded me right now. I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to talk to the viewers about this. And so, there you have it. If you guys can see the way that it looks there. It's got the printing on it, but it's very, very faint. Um, so it almost looks like there's, it almost looks like there's nothing on there. So one side has, has a very light print. And the other one doesn't. If I put it in the, in the shadow, like when I, Put it to the side but if you you guys can see if it like this it really doesn't look anything but if you put some shiny on it then it comes through right so i'll set that one off to the side there and show you the other blade and this is an older blade you guys can see the difference between the two flip it around and again there you have it so I'll try to put them on side by side, which will give you a better, a better visual there. Without cutting myself. So. There you have it right there. So I just thought I'd, I'd let you guys know, just in case you got this and you thought they were fakes. Um, I use them, they feel the same. There's a specific sound that they make for the feedback when you're using them. And for me, they're fine, they feel the same. Um, the thickness feels the same. I mean, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But yeah, they feel the same. I just thought I'd let you guys know just in case you bought them, you know? So. It's freaking hot in here. I just got out the shower. Let me turn on the AC. I'll be right back. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the shave here, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up. How does this work? It's not popping up. What in the world? Um, give me a second. Let me see what the hell's going on here. Is it open or not? This way open. There we go. So don't know how much to use. Uh, we'll see how we do here. So one, two, mm, let's do a three. So there we go. Now, funny enough, oddly enough, should I say, it smells like the Nivea Men. It smells like Nivea Men Sensitive pretty crazy okay so let's go ahead and start lathering hopefully we get a lather out of this I'm hoping I didn't get the wrong one all right yeah something's happening okay so let me go ahead yep it's getting goopy so we are getting something out of that so let me go ahead and start incorporating some water here Oh wow. Okay. This is getting very goopy. It feels almost like um like Elmer's glue. Um Okay, so it appears to be taking water quite nicely. Um so let me go ahead and add some more water to this. Wow, I've added a lot. 
lot of water to this and it is not breaking now hopefully I'm gonna go with that hopefully it doesn't dissipate on the face and if it does I'm hoping that it's slick because at least that'll give me something to work with so there you have it guys it's, if you were curious and wondering if you saw this and you thought maybe should I should I not um, now you know but I'm pretty sure you've already seen other youtubers do it um, I've been out of the game for a bit uh, not doing as many videos not buying many products in fact this is the first product I've bought in shaving related besides blades because you always need blades when you start to run out um, but uh, yeah like aftershaves or bombs or shaving cream I think this is my first product I've bought in wow in a very very long time so we've got it seems like we've got plenty in there I mean you guys can don't know if you guys can pick that up I don't know where the hell the camera's at there we go so yeah I mean we've got plenty in there I mean it's it's freaking holding all right so let's let's get this on the face here and if you can see you look like a damn hobo I haven't had a shave in a bit <clears throat> see if we have too much water not enough water it feels good on the face man Feels really thick. I just don't want to push it anymore because my first time trying it out, you know. And I do have my scuttle. My little brush warmer sitting on the side. So let's see how it does with some warm water. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into it here. Warm up the razor. Clean up the sides here. Letting my hair grow out again since the lady messed up my hair. <laughs> so I know I look all jacked and everything. But I got to let my hair grow back out. So, I'm going to go get it cleaned up. Um, probably next week. And I have um, an actual worth, a week's worth of growth on my face here. And the screen looks really dark. Um, my phone was acting up earlier, so it was uploading uh, some footage. And when you upload uh, big, um, big uh, memory files of footage, the phone gets hot and I'm still, still trying to cool down. So the screen looks dark. I really do hope it's not the background when it's dark.
and uh, update on on the um, on the not well, I don't want I want to say Sputnik um, on the menorahs. Sorry, brain fart there. And then it sets. I had a really nasty ingrown there that left me a really bad scar, just like this one did. Um, freaking sucks. But um, yeah, I've been using those blades quite often over the road. Um, I have more of my shaves over the road than I do at home. And uh, man, amazing blades, guys. I really, really dig those blades. Okay, so let's talk about the shave here. The lather did not dissipate. It was nice and slick. Thankfully, I did not get any irritation. It's nice and protective. If you're hoping you're gonna get some kind of uh, herbal, herb, <laughs> uh, some kind of scent, um, I don't pick any of that up. It smells to me like a version of um, Nivea Man, the sensitive. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, nice, 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 uh, nice face feel. I'm gonna attempt to add some more water here because it feels stick. Fingers crossed we don't blow it out. Feels good. Still feels good. Maybe next time. I can use um, three, uh, four pumps.
you know, let's say maybe next time I can use uh, four pumps only because um, I feel that some of these creams that are over the counter, you got to use more cream versus an artisan. But we'll see. We'll see if we have enough in this shave. Third pass. It goes to brain. Yeah. The slickness it was most important for me. Because if I have great slickness smoother strokes less chances of the blade skipping All right, guys. I'm gonna do my clean pass the camera, and I'll be right back. All right, that was a nice shave. I haven't used that blade in a while, and I was kind of nervous that uh, that was gonna be another blade I didn't, I didn't get along with. but it did quite well.
All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this alum guys. I'll be right back. All right. Let's get on with the aftershave splash now. And let's see. I think I'm gonna use a razor blade just to cut over the top of it. Where did I leave it? Let's see. I'm assuming that it's the top. And if not, whoops. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So, yeah, it's exactly what it smells like to me. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put some in the hand here. Yeah, it's exactly how I remember it. <clears throat> Hopefully, I like it this time around. Like I said, I've never used it. I've only ever smelled it. Okay, it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Go with another shot here. We'll see how it dries down. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and cap that off there. Get in with the bomb. That might be too much. You know, my bottle it actually says to massage it into the beard, the neck. So, wow, that is a nice com complimenting scent between the two. And of course, The cleanup after the cleanup. <laughs> wow, that was a really good shave, guys. It uh, feels good, man. Like I said, getting back into good shaves. That was a great shave. It really was. All right, so recap. We went in with the Nivea Man Sensitive Calm Liquid Shaving Cream. It performed quite well. Uh, I'm actually pleased with it. I'll use uh, four pumps on it next time, but it got me through my shave. We went in with the Nivea Men, uh, again, a matching aftershave balm. We went in with the Florida Water Cologne aftershave splash. Um, we went in with the 1305 from Samogue Bore. That did pretty well the Rockwell 6S on the setting three plate with a sharp um, Swiss quality Durablade. And that is my shave guys. We went in with the lather and bowl as well. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please like it, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode later.